In the, uh, the, uh, the 90s and the early 2000s, um, a lot of overseas universities, uh, Australia in particular, um, had a very steady flow of uh, students coming from China simply because demand in China exceeded the supply of what Chinese universities could, could how many people they could accept and train up. Uh, it, was, it was almost a case of, um, a, to use a Chinese expression, tian xia diao xia bing, which is literally a, a, a meat pie falling on your head from the skies. It was literally manna from heaven. Um, and these days universities need to be doing a lot more. They need to be in the China market. Um, some of the most successful universities have one or more offices in the China market. While they're not directly recruiting students, uh, which is prohibited still, they are working together, managing their network of agents across China. They're supporting those agents in delivering lectures and, and, and uh, meeting with parents and families to, to inform them accurately about what the university does and what their strengths are. Um, and they're doing things like managing media campaigns across China um, on the, on the microblogs and uh, working with Chinese news websites to make sure that their brand is communicated effectively. The Chinese uh, education market is a relatively immature market still in the sense that um, many people know they want to go to a particular country. They might even have an idea about which city. Perhaps they've got a relative or a friend or, or, or some link with a city. But um, they don't have a good knowledge of which universities are good at which disciplines. Uh, and so it's really important for um, universities, whether from Australia or the US or the UK, to be communicating uh, very effectively in Chinese, in China, to be educating the market about what are the strengths of that particular university. Is it bio, biomedicine or is it uh, uh, solar um, photovoltaic cell technology or nanotechnology? Uh, people often have a very limited understanding of what the university's strengths are. One of the things that our company has, uh, has expanded into in the last few years is um, working with uh, overseas universities, people like Swinburne University, um, where we're taking their press releases uh, from the Australian market, perhaps a new development in nanotechnology or, or something of, of it like that, um, and then tailoring it to the Chinese market, linking it to hot topics in the Chinese press, translating it into Chinese, and then getting it out into uh, the hands of the key science and technology journalists across China so that it's being communicated to the right audience in the right language and in, with the light, right sort of slant. For the, for the Chinese market to really you know, make the most of that news. In other markets, uh, universities might tend to rely more on um, newspapers and um, uh, magazines and, and so on for their, for their marketing. In China, um, the newspaper readership is, is um, you know, less and less young people are reading newspapers and more and more of them are online. Uh, there are something like 400 million um, mobile phone users who are now getting online on the internet. Um, there are um, you know, several hundred million people who are online on, at home on their computer or in the office. Um, so it's really crucial in the China market that people are uh, making use of um, websites, online news, um, so working with people, sites like Sina, which is one of the main um, online news providers. Um, they also need to be using uh, microblogs, um, uh, while you may not particularly use Twitter so much in a, in a Western market, in China it's absolutely essential. You can't not use um, you know, the microblogs, Twitter or Tencent. A another really popular um, development in the last uh, year or so is the use of open classes. Uh, a number of US universities are using them successfully. Uh, RMIT has started uh, from Australia is starting to, to use open classes and we're expecting to see some other large Australian universities come in and, and start using open classes. So effectively they're, they're videoing some of their um, uh, most exciting lecturers uh, in some disciplines that perhaps people don't know them for in the Chinese market. Uh, they're providing that content to Chinese uh, online video websites like Youku and uh, Tudou and uh, NetEase. They're getting the, uh, the classes subtitled and uh, they're getting you know, literally tens of thousands of viewers um, who are you know, trying before they buy effectively.